Welcome to the 13th edition of the World Locket TV magazine, your worldwide cross-country marathon skiing show. In summary, let's go to the 40th edition of the Gatineau Lopet held last weekend in beautiful Gatineau Park in Canada. Then we'll go to Czech Republic to meet the 7,300 skiers brought together at Gizeska Padet Sadka. But first, let's go to the Tartu Marathon in Estonia, fourth stage of the 2018 FIS World Lopet Cup, where the emotions on the famous Otepa Stadium were very high. After three years, the traditional Tartu Marathon returned to the original track between Otepa and Elva. 3,376 skiers gathered to the start lines of the 63 and 31 kilometer distances. The emotions on the famous Otepa Stadium were high. Ski kilometers in the beautiful winter weather with slight minus degrees waited ahead. The sports festival this year had also a special festive atmosphere. 45th Tartu Marathon was part of the anniversary celebrations of the 100 years of the Republic of Estonia. Tartu Marathon was also the fourth stage of the FIS World Lopit Cup. The track conditions were not easy since a layer of fresh snow covered the course and slowed the skiers down. In the end, there were four skiers in the finish line sprinting for the victory. 45th Tartu Marathon was won by a French skier Antoine Auger in front of Gérard Agnelli and Yvon Perrier Boiteur. This race is just amazing, so I'm used to compete on marathon race, so which is uh, 42 kilometers. Today it was 63, Re really nice course, it was up and down. Uh, we all know that it was about muscle strength today, and uh, I'm really happy about the race. Swede, Maria Graftings finished as the best woman, followed by Serena Bona and Aurelie Dabudik. I was actually feeling stronger and stronger during the race, and it's, I know it's a really long race, 63k, and this really tough course also, so I was just trying to stay strong, and then my skis were working really like better and better also, so um, yeah, you, you can't never give up, you just have to focus. The leaders got their awards, but the real ski party on the track was in full swing. This year, a total of 5,225 people enjoyed the fun of skiing in Tartu Marathon Week. Aga, mit me skord? Ei tea. Üle ühe igal juhul on käidud. Ma arvan mingi 7 või 6 või 8 või midagi taavist. 4 tundi ja 41 minutit. Pik spordipäev on sul nüüdseks läbi saanud. Kuidas ise päeva kokku võtada? Habe on sul jäätunud. Olga, on purikas väe. Siis on hästi. Õnnelik. Väsinud, aga õnnelik. Tore oli. Soovitan kõigile. Eestlased, tulge rajale. Hea kui Eesti. Ei, väga hea oli. No, teks eiline väike lumesadu tegi selle livisemist tingimus natuke keeruliseks, aga, aga vist oli väga mõnus. Nii et, täielik nauding sellegi poolest, et head ikkagi vika, 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 vika distantsi veel asi käib. Nii et. Et, Tartu maratoni maitse jälle suus? No loomulikult, see on ikkagi nii-öelda aasta kõige tähtsam tündmus minu jaoks. Laulupidu! The last, but definitely not the least, was 82-year-old Vino Erilaid from Estonia, who now has crossed the finish line of Tartu Marathon for 30 times. Now let's go to Canada to the 40th edition of the Gatineau Lopet.
The 40th edition of the Gatineau Lopet was held last weekend in beautiful Gatineau Park in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada. 2,364 skiers from some of the 20 different countries had a dream weekend. From the temperature to the snow and grooming conditions and all the animation, maple taffy on snow, festive refreshment stations along the route, entertainment upon arrival, traditional music, true flavours of Canada, local beers and much more. Four races in classic technique and three races in free technique were presented during the weekend. All smiles elites, happy amateurs plus complete families participated in the 40th anniversary edition of the Gatineau Loped. Big star of this 2018 edition of the Gatineau Lopet, Norway's Peter Soleng Skinstad won both 51 km events during the weekend. His father, Aj Skinstad, participated in the Lopet three decades ago. His two sons, Peter and Martin, who finished first and third in the 51 km classic, wanted to finish what their father had started. And now, let's go to Czech Republic to meet the 7,300 skiers brought together at Jizeska Padesetka. The increasing popularity of the Jizeska Padesetka cannot be denied. 7,290 skiing friends participated in this weekend's 51st edition of Jizeska 50. 4,500 of them skied the main race in classic style over 50 kilometers. Ten seconds, sir. The victories went to Scandinavians. The Norwegian marathon skier Morten Eid Pedersen dominated the Czech race for the third time now in last four years. 
Katerina Smutna, on the contrary, did not repeat last year's victory. The Czech skier finished second after Britta Johannesson Norgren, the Swedish racer who won Gizeska 50 for the second time now. Pedersen finished the race 46 seconds before second Oscar Kardin, Sweden, and confirmed that the Gizeska 50 is his favourite race with winning it for the third time. The third place belongs to Andreas Nygaard, also Norwegian. The best home racer was 18th Stanislav Rezak. The 44 years old racer won the Gizeska 50 in 2000, 2001 and 2012. Katarina Smutna struggled for the third triumph on the Gizeska 50, but she had to settle with a second place behind Britta Johannesson Norgren. Almost four minutes after the winner completed the race, third, Sara Lindborg, again from Sweden. And registrations were already open for the 52nd race in 2019. Snowy winter conditions await over 3,500 skiers Lati and Olala to join the 45th Finlandia Ski Marathon. The tracks are in excellent condition and all distances will be held in their original course. Finlandia Ski Marathon events started last week with Children Finlandia where over 2,000 school kids from Lati, Olala and Nastola enjoyed skiing in Lati. This is the end of the 13th edition of the World Loppet TV magazine. See you next week for a new episode.